destroy Asorok. If Boko Haram attack IPOP members, Niger Delta Avengers. Niger Delta Avengers, NDA, a self determination group, has responded to a threat from the Islamic terrorist group Boko Haram, who have threatened to attack IPOP members if they ever protest for freedom again. <laughs> It is becoming interesting. Hello, guys. You are welcome to Prospect Channel TV. Here we give you updates of things happening around you and the world as a whole. I want to appreciate every one of you who have subscribed to this channel. Thank you for your support. God bless you. And if you have not, I beg you to kindly do so. I would like you to press the red button and also press the bell icon. This is where you get notification whenever I upload a video. And please note that your like and your comment and your share is very, very important to this. Thank you very much for coming out here. God bless you all. Now to the news in full. We will destroy Asorok if Boko Haram attack IPOP members, Niger Delta Avengers. The Niger Delta Avengers, a self-determination group, has responded to a threat from the Islamic terrorist group Boko Haram, who have threatened to attack IPOP members if they ever protest for freedom again. We, the Niger Delta Avengers, don't want war. We don't want to fight. We don't want to cause violence. But if by any chance an IPOP member is killed by the Islamic terrorist group Boko Haram, then we will not isolate to destroy Boko Haram uh, as a rock to ashes. South, South and South East, we are all one with the same blood running in our vein. We will protect our Biafran brothers with our last blood. Biafran freedom uniting us all. We are going back to our roots. <laughs> wow, you see, like what I said, that uh, this is becoming very, very interesting. You know, funny enough, uh, last week, the one of uh, uh, President Bo Buhari, a uh, special assistant. Loretta Onoche was granted an interview. She was on social media. When she was asked, she was asked this. I, I'm going to read it out for you. She said, we will find Boko Haram sponsors soon. President Aids Onoche, Loretta said. I will read it out for you now. She said, as when known, Loretta Onoche is a special assistant to President Muhammad Buhari on social media. In this interview, she said the president will never interfere in the jobs of the legislative and judiciary arms of government, saying that the federal government will find the founders of Boko Haram set this year. According to this report, she said, in terms of security, there is no way you can compare where we are now to where we were in 2015. It is not possible. Boko Haram had already started getting into Bayasa State. They got to the southeast. They got to Lagos in Abuja. Yeah, people are afraid of going to church. You see, the most painful thing here is these people, they always find a way to... Ah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. They always find a way to cover this issue. Anytime they have been asked question of this Boko Haram, the next thing you see them referring to a 2015 government. And truth being told, you cannot compare what is happening right now to what happened uh, in 2015. That, we, we enjoyed life then. Okay, Nigeria was peaceful, good and fine. Boko Haram was there, but it was not like this. Yes, men, 
was not like this. Okay? But these people always find a way to exonerate themselves. Listen to her again. I'm going to pick at a, a, somewhere again here. She said, Today, we are miles away from where we used to be in 2015, but we are still here. But we still hear the story that our soldiers are being killed every day. Are you listening to that? She said it's a story. But believe you me, it is an exaggeration. <laughs> she said, it is a lie from the pit of hell. And we know where the pit of hell is. And there are where the videos are coming out from. They are fake videos. They are making people afraid by using fake information. They will, they will get, they will just get to come and say, "Oh, do you know that uh, Abuja they killed ten people? Meanwhile, nobody was killed. Do you get that? So all these things that is happening in this country, does it mean that this woman is not aware? So she said, it's all lie, fallacy. <laughs> wow." This is really funny. Now, she was asked a question. Say, do you mean sponsor of insecurity in Nigeria will be found? Listen to her answer. She said, yes, we can do that if we really want to do. Underline that. We can do that if we really want to do. <laughs> you do not know where they meet because you do not know their location she is talking you do not know people they are related to you do not know their plans the national assembly has a role to play in this by making some laws certain laws were not in place certain laws were not in place sorry when this thing started we are dealing with boko haram and every mob, everybody know about it. So I don't know what she's talking about. Because right now, I'm still confused. And I'm afraid of her. I'm still confused. If this woman can say that all these videos, uh, armies being killed, people being killed every day by day, are fake. That means this government is not even ready to fight this Boko Haram sex. Now, we have problem in our hands. We pray that war should not break out because it is going to affect everybody, even them. So if they think they are safe, no way. Look at the threats the Niger Delta Avengers are also giving to Boko Haram. He said, we will destroy Aso Rock if Boko Haram attack IPOP members. Do you hear that? So you see, Nigeria have a lot of problems in their hands. So this government should wake up and do something. They should wake up from their slumbers because this is no longer a joke. This matter is beyond what we are looking. Fighting, book, uh, fighting IPOB member is meaningless because uh, IPOB member, they are just uh, uh, armless people agitating for their freedom. Okay? So before I go off, let's take some uh, reaction by most Nigerians. This one is saying, uh, now I can see the Nigerian government and the Northern political sponsor of Boko Haram giving them the script to threaten the Igbo nation. But this will only help to quicken the actualization of the independent state of Biafra. On one fact is clear, when Biafra is achieved, the Yoruba bastard slave nation to the full and a true being breach of coward will summon their courage to demand for their own freedom. Neither, though their usual way of begging or otherwise, then they shall pay the price of their silence of today. I am waiting for the idiot that will insult me. <laughs> All right. Okay, let me take a... There are much here, but I, I won't be able to take all of them. 
Then another person here say, I cry for Nigeria as wicked, illiterate Aboki are destroying it little by little. The blood of the innocent will judge you all. Yeah, this is where I will cut it for the day. What's your take on this? I would like you to drop your comment in the comment box below. And don't forget to like and share. Thank you very much.